keep the end goal in mind. You guys wrote down a goal. You're going to bring it to class with you and keep that in mind. Don't hesitate to ask for help when you need it. And by the way, you do have to pass your tests, your skills, and your clinicals. Speaking of tests, let's talk about test taking. So our tests are primarily multiple choice, which sounds awesome, except that they're, they're really not. They're difficult. Um, they are very difficult multiple choice questions. Few of our questions ask for the simple information like, what's the normal heart rate for an adult patient? That's easy. You can sit and learn that by using a flashcard. Um, we don't ask most, most of our questions are not like that. Our, comp, our, our questions are more complicated. So here's practice question number one. Which of the following is false about infants? Their average heart rate is higher than that of an adult. They're more likely to suffer head trauma than an adult. The age range for an infant is 1 to 12 months, and the average respiratory rate for an infant is less than that of a child. So let's look at what you need to know. Well, you need to know their average heart rate uh, of an infant and of an adult, and you have to be able to compare the two. You need to have some familiarity with head trauma. You need to know the age range for an infant. You need to know the average respiratory rate for an infant and a child, and you have to be able to compare them. And more importantly, this question's a little tricky because it asks you which of the following is false. So here's test taking tip number one. If you see a false or a not or an or or a but or a true, these are key words that you're going to focus in. And what you're going to do is basically cross out the question and you're going to look at the answers. And next to each of the answers, you're going to write true true, true, and false. And now without even looking at the question, you know which one is the right answer. Which one of these things is not like the other? It's this one. Now I don't expect you to get this yet. This would be like a question for your final um, because it asks you about kids and adults and head trauma uh, in both adults and children and age ranges and all that sort of stuff. But you see how this is much more difficult than your typical question. Let's take a look at another one. These are very common as well where we give you a scenario. You're dispatched to a man down at the football stadium. You arrive to find a man unconscious and unresponsive with CPR in progress. Your first steps should include, and I'll let you kind of read through these. you see some similarities. So here's a technique here. If all of your answers have the same option, so provide oxygen. Ooh, but this is a little different. Non-rebreather, BVM, BVM. Okay, so that's different. All right, continue CPR. That one's present in all of them, so I can cross that out. I don't have to consider comparing that. Um, apply the AED. Okay, so that's in all of them. And then look, transport's in all of them. So now let's look at what's different. So verify compressions are adequate, uh, BVM. Open the patient's airway, BVM. Non-rebreather. Well, I'll give you a hint. You're going to breathe for them, and you have to use a BVM to do that. So we're going to cross this one out. So now I can do the same steps. So provide oxygen by BVM. So now I have to make the decision between verify compressions are adequate or open the patient's airway. That one happens to be the right answer. This is actually a fairly tricky question to try and determine which one of these you want uh, to pick. We will do more of these practice tests and we'll talk about why the answers are right and why the answers are wrong. Suffice to say, our multiple choice tests are not easy. Um, They're difficult. Our pass rates uh, on the first try are not awesome. And part of the reason is that people just don't understand what the tests are looking for. So we're going to work and we're going to practice, and you guys, I know, are going to work hard to study. So again, our questions make you think. Our questions make you compare and contrast. Our questions are not designed to test your ability to recall simple information. Our questions will make you solve problems, and they'll make you apply your knowledge, which means that you cannot stop studying once you've learned the basics. 
you must continue to study until you understand why you're doing what it is that you're doing. You must study until you can see how what you're studying fits with what you've already learned and how what you're studying fits with the big picture. I want you to keep in mind the whole time you're in this class and when you're studying and when things are hard and when your friends are going out and you can't go out with them because you've got a test the next day. Keep in mind why you're doing this and this isn't just your goal. I remind myself every day that the reason that I'm here is to provide a good life for my daughter and for the rest of my family. To learn myself and to do something that I am just passionate about which is teaching. So take out that piece of paper that you wrote your goal on. And underneath that, on that piece of paper, I want you to write down why you're here and what it is that is your motivation to finish this course successfully. So I'll see you in class. If you have any questions or concerns, please bring them to class or bring them to me in office hours. Thank you.